The UK's first multidisciplinary clinic dedicated to sudden cardiac death has officially opened in Tooting, southwest London, helping to shape the future of cardiac screening for young people. At least 12 young, apparently fit people die suddenly in the UK every week from previously undiagnosed heart conditions. 80% of these young people have no prior symptoms and screening is the only way to determine if they're carrying a hereditary heart defect that could lead to sudden death. One example is James Bailey. Last year, aged just 17, the active young footballer attended a screening event organized by the charity Cardiac Risk in the Young, or CRY. I first heard about CRY when I came to my school to do random screening. I signed up. Uh, not expecting anything to be wrong, but then uh, unfortunately I was diagnosed with Wolf Parkinson Whites. I was very shocked, I signed up not expecting anything to be wrong, and I play football basically every day. But yeah, afterwards it you know, helps, I just saw other doctors, consultants, and realised you know, at least it's something that can be treated. You know, I've had the cardiac ablation operation and now everything's fine, and so now I hope to help cry, help others. Cardiac Risk in the Young, or CRY, has been instrumental in the development of the new centre based at St George's Hospital, which will provide a one-stop shop for young people and affected families who wish to be screened for potentially life-threatening cardiac problems. CRY has provided a half million pound grant, part funded by the interdealer broker ICAP, to support the two-year programme which will offer all 14-year-olds from across the southeast who were born in 1995 the opportunity for free, non-invasive cardiac screening. The center will be headed up by CRY's consultant cardiologist, Professor Sanjay Sharma. In 1996, there was more interest in coronary artery disease, which is, of course, the biggest killer in the world, but little attention was paid to young individuals that were dying. But obviously since then there's been a steady trickle of sudden deaths in some very high profile individuals that has raised awareness and this has also resulted in large sporting organisations such as the International Olympic Committee, UEFA and FIFA endorsing cardiac screening in young people and I think this is going to be the way forward. The first free screening sessions take place at the CRY ICAP screening clinic at St George's Hospital on Saturday the 15th and Sunday the 16th of May. Alison Cox MBE is the chief executive and founder of CRY. We put the families first, we listen to what their needs are and we drive forward that whole protocol in terms of after a tragedy, how can they be looked after and after a diagnosis, how can we best support them. They are the key and they are the ones that we must always profile in terms of how the whole issue can be driven forward. And what we're looking for is stopping young sudden cardiac death. That is the goal of all of us.